Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm in La Paz in Bolivia and it's pretty spectacular. I'll see you in a minute. welcome back so I am currently on an escorted tour of South America going through Chile Bolivia and Peru and we are now in La Paz in Bolivia and we're just driving in and one thing I wanted to show you before we got to the city was this military parade we passed while we were driving in it's absolutely marvelous you got to see all the soldiers go past and all the ladies there in their magnificent outfits and oh it was a treat i wanted to share that then we go get in to la paz well i've never seen anything like this first off the traffic is absolutely horrendous i don't know how anyone drives around there and of course all the streets are so steep because this is the highest city in the world at 3,600 feet above sea level and well by now my altitude sickness is kind of settling down a bit it's still a bit of a struggle but it's nowhere near as bad as it has been but you know you're just I'm just mesmerized by this place I mean it's just such a mass of people and buildings and cars and well it was incredible so the first thing we did was we drove up to El Alto and we took the cable car all the way down to La Paz and this was amazing because you get to go over all of the houses and the neighborhoods and you really get to get a sense of what La Paz is about So the cable car system in La Paz, it's made up of several lines. So it's a little bit like our underground in the UK, except for this is overground and it's cable cars. And it has all the different colored lines. And to get from El Altro down to La Paz, you have to change a few times from one color to the next. And this is all to do with how steep some parts are and of course they branch off to different parts of the city it really is just like our underground just cable car version and i will say it's very safe on the cable car system lots of security about and lots of people there to help you if you get a little bit lost with it all because it's a it's a mindful but a, a, like i said it's a fantastic way to get an overview of the city i've never seen houses like this you know all these communities they look so tightly packed um a little bit like like when you were looking over the whole area it looks a little bit like a toy town to us it's um well it's just absolutely fascinating and i love where you see all the steep stairs walking up between the houses and I look at them and think, oh goodness me, I don't know if I'll be able to get up and down them. But I guess you get used to it. So after the cable car, we had a quick city tour. And I said, it was quick, but we're only here for 24 hours. Well, not even that. Um, and so we went down some of these colonial streets that they had there. And then we went to the main plaza there, Plaza Manila. And you've got the presidential buildings there and all the main buildings but what i loved about this square was watching all the families um, just playing all the kids playing with the pigeons and the family just watching and it was a really nice sort of environment and you can you've got like ladies walking around selling you ice cream cones or you can get peanuts or little snacks and there was little stalls around and you could buy balloons for the kids it was just such a pleasant place to be and I have to say like you know you think because La Paz is crowded and busy that you know you should should you be worried about your safety but I have to say I never felt unsafe in La Paz at all I thoroughly enjoyed my time there
then we get to go to my favourite bit, the part I've been waiting to do since we started this tour, and that was to go to the Witch's Market. So the Witch's Market is an area in La Paz, and it's got various shops all run by the Bolivian Witch Ladies. And these shops are just fascinating. There are spells for everything. And yes, I had a spell made for me. I had a love spell made for me and I'm still waiting for it to work. But what an absolutely awesome city La Paz is. And I'm kind of uh, disappointed that we only got to spend such a short time there. But before we left, we did go and see the Valley de la Luna. And this is an area where the stones have eroded over time and they now resemble the surface of the moon. It was very fascinating. You can, like, there's all these stairways where you walk around them, there's all these spiky stones everywhere. It was, um, very beautiful place to go. at La Paz. I definitely need to go back because I think there's a lot more to this city than this overview that I saw and that I've been able to share. It's just the people are lovely and friendly, the environment is very warm and, and Karen is busy, I mean it's very busy but you know you don't feel unsafe and you Everybody's just getting on with their own business and it's just an absolutely delightful place to go. And I have never seen a city like this ever. Um, I, I really enjoyed my time there. Ah, yes, I want to go back. So from La Paz, we're actually going to be going into Peru next. And so I will see you next time in Peru. And thank you again, for, as always, for watching. Take care. Ciao.